Allow me instead to take a moment to condemn unequivocally the violence we've seen in South Asian communities across the country over the past few nights. Let me be very, very clear. The individuals who are inciting violence and division and hatred in no way represent either the Sikh community or the Hindu community in Canada. At a time of Diwali and Bandi Chordivas, we're seeing communities come together to celebrate uh, their diversity and their strength. We will continue to stand for the unity of Canadians. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. The New York Times, 10 years ago, life in Canada, home of the world's most affluent middle class. Median income in Canada appears to have surpassed median income in the United States. Yeah. Oh, what a decade can do. Now, American workers make almost $20,000 more than their Canadian counterparts. They get twice as much investment every single year. The gap between our per capita GDP and that of the United States is now the worst in a century wow. after this Prime Minister's rising taxes, bureaucracy and blocking of energy projects. I know why Harris and Trump want to create jobs for Americans, but why does this Prime Minister want to help them? Here, right. Right. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the silence of the Conservative leader is deafening when it comes to what's happening in the South Asian communities right now. And it's a real shame. Not only is he not stepping forward to talk uh, about how all Canadians must stand together and all South Asian Canadians, Sikh, uh, Hindu, uh, Jain, Buddhist, uh, are celebrating together this weekend, but he even refuses to take the issue seriously enough to get the security clearance necessary to be briefed on threats to Canada and to Canadians. That's not leadership, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Now you know, now you know his real agenda. He wants to distract from all the economic misery he's called at home. And so he uses divisions here at home. These divisions are the result of him. Under his leadership, we've seen a 251% increase in hate crimes, firebombings of synagogues, bullets shot at Jewish children's schools, a hundred churches burned and vandalized, and now we see sectarian riots on the street, streets of Brampton. This never happened before this Prime Minister. Does he take ownership for the divisions he's caused and the violence that has resulted? Yeah. Colleagues, when asked members, please, uh, especially members from the far end of the House, to please not take the, the not take the floor unless they are recognized by the Speaker. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, people watching that last answer will know uh, and note uh, the assuredness with which the Leader of the Opposition declared all the causes and the sources of uh, the terrible violence we're seeing, when the reality is he refuses to take the necessary briefings that our security agencies are offering him to understand the threats to Canada. Why 